hold still. I can't treat your wounds if you keep squirming. I told you, I'm fine. I already gave myself first aid. Now, now. Let's hear your breakthrough for the Spyrite project. No, oh, maybe this isn't a good time. Balin, thanks for coming. Wild wyverns couldn't have kept me away. Now, what's this revelation of yours? Well, Spyrites are essentially just spirits, right? Even once they become Spyrites, they still have their own minds. So instead of trying to control them, we should be asking for their cooperation. Asking for their cooperation? How exactly? That's the thing. It's the same way Rizemaxians do it every day. You figured it out too. Ah, yes. The process in which spirits perform arts for humans in exchange for our mana. It presumably requires some form of communication to form a contract. So, spirit arts are actually a conversation of sorts. Dr. Howe was originally trying to communicate with spirits when he invented spirit arts. It must be that the arts contain within them a message that's sent to the spirit. You're right! We picked up on some incomprehensible system of signals when we were analyzing the spirit arts process. If it turns out to be an encrypted spirit language, it just might be what we're looking for. If we decode it and apply it to spyrites, we'll even be able to make requests of the great spirits. Can you imagine that? I'll analyze the signals immediately. Leave everything to me. Hey, impressive work there. I didn't do anything. It's all thanks to Celsius. You inherited the possibilities that Howe once envisioned, and that will be the key in leading us to a brighter future. You humans really are something. Thank you for everything. I will make sure that your dream comes true. This job is for a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Why not? Something troubling you, young miss? Perhaps it would help to talk about it. I haven't been able to text Luna since, you know. Luna sends her texts, but Elise doesn't even read them. Ah, I'm still upset about what happened with Exodus. I know I should move on, but I just can't get it out of my head. What would you do? that much courage. What matters is what you want to do, young miss. That's the problem. I just don't know. This is the DODA. We've detected a new fractured dimension. We've sent over the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. A new mission? Can we come too? We're sick of stewing in our own thoughts. A fine idea. Sometimes a little distraction helps the mind work through difficult issues. Luger, um, there's something I want you to have. Here, it's from me. It's my way of saying thank you. That's not all she's saying! Tipo, shut up! I told you.
told you it's not like that. Girls can be so complicated. I guess we start with the usual on the street interview. Catalyst! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Something doesn't add up. We should look into these poachers. After you said you'd be late. I chanced to run into Miss Elise outside of town, so we decided to travel back here together. If you don't mind my asking, why did you invite the young Miss here today? Oh, I don't mind you asking at all. Ellie's father is coming home. It's been ages since they've seen each other. I beg your pardon? That's right. We got word he's finally getting a break from the job he was assigned to. W we really get to see Father? Of course, you silly. Isn't that why you rushed over here in the first place? Elise! Ah! My little princess. <laughs> I'm so happy you came out to see me. F father Yes, what's the matter? Has it been so long that you've forgotten what your old man looks like? <laughs> Chief, please settle down. Miss Elise seems upset. Please put me down, okay? Elise isn't a little baby, you know. Ah, oh, forgive me. I was just so happy to see you. <laughs> Sometimes Elise is so cute that you just want to pick her up and squeeze her. And I couldn't be a prouder dad. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect her. Anyone who dares to court her will go up against the highest standards. We know she's your sun, your moon, and your stars. You've said it so many times, I hear it in my sleep. Jurgen, you do realize you're the biggest oaf in the Kataro clan, right? Precisely why you picked me to be your right-hand man, Chief. Oh. Guess your old pop owes you an apology, child. I got so tied up with work that I completely forgot to bring back souvenirs. But I shall make it up to you. Ask for anything you want, and it's yours. Anything? In the whole wide world? I can't think of anything. That's it! A bunnykins! Hmm? It's... it's for a friend of mine. Well, you've heard of bunnykins, right? Of course. Everyone with kids has heard of that toy. But those... Lady Drissel, would you mind if we were to rest for a bit before the briefing? Oh, of course. You both must be exhausted from your journey. Please, make yourselves at home. If only we had the time. Monster poaching is on the rise again in the Sapstrath Deepwood. The bastards seem to be after pelts this time. Those poachers have apparently been slipping through the Katarl clan's defenses. We need better strategies for catching them. Uh, 
I've directed the Merchants' Coalition to boycott the purchase or sale of poached goods, but... Banning them just boosts their value on the black market. And the poachers aren't getting any less greedy. But we'll talk later, right, Elise? Everyone, please do try to rest up as much as possible. Tonight's the big reunion party. I just can't believe Zhao is my father. I know fractured dimensions are all funky, but can that really be true? Yes. In this dimension, at least. Then I guess we had better find out more about Zhao. And quickly. Things will be complicated when the Elise of this dimension arrives. The big man is Elise's father? Oh, don't know how I feel about that. But it seems quite clear that he cares very deeply for her. I don't think the me of this world knows the truth about who Zhao is and what he did to my real mother and father. <laughs> I understand what he's saying. There are things I know that I wish I didn't. That's ominous. Like what? Well, for example, do you know the lovely smell of freshly laundered bedding? What you're smelling is the decaying corpses of dust mites. Huh? No way! I don't believe you. That smell comes from the sunlight that dried it out. Oh, that is partially true. Some of the smell does come from sun-dried human sweat and sebaceous fluids. Huh? You're kidding! I know you're kidding! Oh, there's more! Stop! I can't take another word! I was just going to say that I was kidding. So sweet, so innocent, so easily duped. <laughs> I need to do this more often. How could you do this to me, Jürgen? Chief, please, let me explain. What's going on? I caught Jürgen sending our defense strategies to someone over his GHS. Don't tell me you're on the take from those poachers, are you? Well, Jürgen wouldn't... He's our buddy! Jürgen, put me in touch with whoever got those plans. If he's not a poacher, you've got nothing to worry about, right? I... I... I'm so sorry, Chief. You have to forgive me. Jürgen? You're really a fink? But why? It's because of my wife. Hyla's condition just keeps getting worse. I needed the money so I'd be able to buy her the right medicine. Why didn't you just ask for my help? I would have, but the medicine she needs can only be made from protected monsters. <sighs> That's why I betrayed you, but it's no excuse. Betrayal must be repaid in blood, no exceptions. I know the rules of the Katarl clan. So you're ready to accept your punishment? Let it at least be by my hand. No, wait! It's not his fault! Jürgen was only trying to save his wife. Out of my way. Zhao, uh, father, you're the chief, right? So you can bend the rules however you want. No, Elise. If anything, it's my responsibility as chief to honor the rules. But, but what if it was me who got sick? Didn't you say you'd do anything to protect me? Are your rules more important than I am? <sighs> Jürgen, take me to where you meet these poachers of yours. 
Understand? Chief? It's all right, don't worry. I just want to talk with them. I'll tell them that we will only allow the poaching of animals for Isla's medicine. F thank you, Chief. I can never repay you for this. Thank Elise for this, not me. Lady Elise, thank you so much. I'm just happy things turned out okay. They're in the Sapstrath Deepwood, right? Yes, that's right. I'll lead you to them. I'm sorry you had to witness all of this. I hope that you'll keep it to yourself. What? It's Zhao! We've found our Divergence Catalyst. <laughs> we'll need to follow them. To the Sapstrath Deepwood, then. duty to destroy the Divergence Catalyst. Let's try to find Zhao. Like the big man! How dare you threaten me! Yurkin? He's dead! You fools! We're sorry! Please! We surrender! Please forgive us! What is the meaning of this? They got exactly what they deserved. These poachers tried to blackmail me! They said that if I didn't let them continue poaching, they would tell the world how the Kataral clan collaborated with them. What? The rules of the clan are absolute. It was a big mistake to bend them. But mistakes can be corrected. Were you the one who killed Jürgen? Yes, that's right. I killed him. And once I kill all of you, It'll be as if nothing ever happened. But, but... He isn't Zhao anymore. We have no choice but to destroy him. This... is a nightmare. I'm sorry. Then you... betray me! Oh, 
to get what you asked for. Huh? That stuffed animal you wanted. The bunnykins. They're made from poached monster fur. They are? I'm the chief. I have to uphold the rules. Please forgive your stubborn old pup. But never forget this. You are my sun, my moon, and my stars. My beloved daughter, Elise. Father! Father! That was far more than anyone should have to bear. But... Luger was just doing his job. Just like the big man was doing his, and Luna was doing hers. If Luger doesn't do his job, our world could end up kaput. If Luna had actually listened to me, things might have ended badly just like they did for Zhao and Jurgen. It's true. Chaos often ensues when people in power let their personal feelings rule their decisions. Luger, the big man, Luna, they're all nice people. But they all have responsibilities, which means making choices they don't always like. And yet, I got mad when they didn't listen to my selfish wishes. <laughs> But I've been ignoring her for so long. She may not even listen to me. Forgive me for interrupting you at such a busy time, Chancellor Marcia. I'm here with a mutual friend of ours. She has something she would very much like to say to you. It seems she was expecting this call. I mean, Chancellor Marcia. You can call me Luna. Luna, I'm sorry. I was wrong to get mad at you. I know you had no choice when you did what you had to do. I'm sure it made you sad. I'm sorry I said such horrible things to you. I guess I'm just a selfish child. Elise, it does take a great deal of wisdom and maturity to put aside your feelings and do the right thing. Just as it takes a pure heart to question whether such an act truly needs to be done. It's something we jaded adults lose sight of far too often. So, it's okay to stay a child? It's okay to grow up while staying yourself. Your pure heart might put a stop to ill practices others have grown to accept. It might convince them to think twice. I understand. I'll do my best. You really are like the perfect big sister, Luna. <laughs> Thanks. Although I'm closer in age to an aunt, would you mind if I texted you again? Of course not! We'll be watching our GHS! Thank you. You're very welcome. Although it's a shame that Bunnykins continues to elude us. Actually, we've been thinking. I'm going to take Al shopping and find her another stuffed animal instead. Who knows if we'll find anything as good, but I'll explain the situation to her. Not exactly the ideal big sister result, but I hope she'll forgive us. I'm sure you will find something wonderful for her. But we'll have to rescue her first. We're coming for you, Elle! The job postings sure are beneficial.